Hey, happy Tuesday. It is 11.34, 11.40. Uh, what's up, Entrepreneur Lifestyle Group? I'm Mark Jennison. I've been trying to come in here about this time every single Tuesday for 10, 15 minutes. But um, some stuff that's been weighing on my mind this week, I just want to jump in and talk about some of the, the seven, uh, six, seven different things that I think are the most important structures or most important thing about being an entrepreneur, right? Or, or things we do with on the lifestyle. I mean, when we signed up for this, it was a completely... I've always been an entrepreneur. I've always been... I shouldn't say always. From 27 on, my most of my adult life, I've always been an entrepreneur. I've always been pushing. I've always been pushing the limits. Um, I want to work for myself. I want to make my own money. I want to get my own business. I never wanted to be like anybody else. And and I just find it absolutely amazing. And for the, those guys out here that are just thinking about jumping in, this is probably more geared towards you guys. But I want to talk about like the hours. One of the greatest things about the hours, like of being an entrepreneur, is you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. Now, but for me. Like I built this business so that I can go anywhere and work, right? So this morning I'm at the gym, I'm taking calls, I'm taking text messages. I mean, I like structure and stuff like that, but I didn't get into this to live, to slave to a nine to five. Now I'm, I'm wanting to work 20 hours a day if I can, or 15 hours a day, whatever I got to do. But one of the most amazing things about it is that you got the ability to build a financial wall of freedom so high around your family that you can work the hours. You can go to Disneyland, you can go wherever you want. And that's truly why we do it. But with those hours and with jumping into this comes massive risks, right? I was thinking about this this morning. Um, I leverage every dollar I have sometimes every month, whether I make 30, 40, 50,000, sometimes at the end of the month, I'm putting it back in because I'm chasing a bigger dream. One of the things that we do is we always want more. So you're risking that, you're risking um, you know, your credit, you're putting everything on the line for this thing and it gets freaking stressful at times, right? I mean, I can remember sometimes when I, when I owned the trucking company, I put the risk out there or, uh, you know, how am I going to get this fuel in the morning? I need to make $100,000 of fuel payment on Monday morning and it's freaking Friday. I don't have the money and the stuff's not coming in. And I had to get creative and had to figure out how I can make these things happen. When you're willing to find a way, when you're willing, you want something so bad, you're willing to find a way no matter what. And the risk just goes away. But one of the biggest things that I think helped me with that risk was the commitment. I come back, I reach back and I come up with, uh, look back at my life and I find, Every time that I took a risk or every time I jumped into something, I had to be committed to, whether it's committed to my sobriety, whether it's committed to a relationship, whether it's committed to a business, whether it's committed to the gym, whatever, right? The only way for me to overcome this thing was the commitment. So one of the things I want to ask you guys right now is what does it take for you to be committed to whatever you do? Maybe you're selling, doing mufflers and I don't know because we're all entrepreneurs at some point, at some time, but are you committed to it every day? Showing up, like for instance, I didn't, right now as we getting on this, I had to show up no matter what. I got some things going crazy on my cell phone right now that's trying to keep me from here, trying to put me out of my space. I have to be committed to this business. I have to be committed to putting this out there and I have to keep committing to uh, basically the entrepreneur lifestyle, right? And it's got to hold you. This isn't, this isn't just a career. This is a job or this is a, uh, this is a lifestyle. This is something that you live, breathe, sleep, your kids, your family, everything goes into this. So it's one of the most amazing experiences, but What's cool about it, and here's the next thing I want to talk about for you new guys, is this networking, right? Actually, let's jump into one thing before I go into networking. I want to talk about sacrifice. What have you sacrificed to get here? I read Gallant's posts a lot. I'm going to comment. I'm going to say something about him because he's in the group right now, but I read a lot of his posts. Almost There's a couple dudes I follow every day pretty religiously, and Gallant's one of the guys, and you know he always likes to talk on Friday, Saturday night about sacrificing being out at the club and being away from his friends to have the family, to have the life that he wants, to, to go after the things that he wants. And dude's a hundred percent on point, right? I'm sacrificing everything that I have to try to get where I want to go. I sometimes ask myself, and this comes to the risk, like, dude, what happens if you sac you know, you made $300,000 last month and you put it all back in and you kept 10 grand and, and you got a big nut to crack next month, but you sacrifice everything because you're after the bigger picture. And um, you know, the time, are you ever going to be able to get it back? Absolutely. Like if you can't tell yourself, dude, am I willing to sacrifice everything that I have to get what I want? Then this isn't for you. Entrepreneur is not for you. Uh, and that comes with great responsibilities, right? You've got to be accountable. You've got to show up. You got to, uh, you got to build other people. You got to inherit the, the leader mentality, right? I mean, if many of you guys read that Russell Brunson's new book, the expert secrets, he talks about like a leader and people being too chapters behind you, there's already something to, uh, always somebody looking to, to, to follow you. Like you can have leaders, you can start a movement, you can do whatever you need to do. And one of the biggest responsibilities that I find 
is obviously my commitment to my son, commitment to the business, commitment to my future, but commitment and responsibilities to be here for these families, right? You know, a lot of you guys are solo entrepreneurs, but when I look at my entrepreneur, I, I, I see it growing. Like I look at my business growing this way and then this way, right? I mean, I want to get multiple streams coming and grow them all up. It's just the way that I personally like to do it. But inside of that, every re I'm responsible for John, for John's future. I'm responsible for Jacob's. I'm responsible for Kevin's. I'm responsible for mine. And you just got to be holding yourself accountable. One of the biggest things that entrepreneurs struggle with is the responsibilities. And I did this one time when I was, uh, I was in an MLM and I did really well. I shot out and made some money right away. And I'm like, dude, I can make this from the bar. I can go make money all day long from the bar. And, you know, it was coming in. I was getting set in appointments, meeting them. And I realized that, like, dude, if you don't keep your eye on the prize, if you rest on your laurels, if you, you use what you're good at and you, you fall apart, it's on you, right? So responsibilities are going to be huge. Um, what else do I want to talk about today? Oh, what is the biggest key to be an entrepreneur? One of, or one of the things that helps me is networking. Um, why have a small group of people that are individual? Like we have a group inside of here where I consider all of us entrepreneurs a little bit, maybe on different levels than the other, but masterminds, um, these groups like Gallant put together, a group like I'm putting together, uh, it's, it's amazing because not everybody's gonna understand you. So one of the advice, the piece of advice I have for like the new entrepreneurs out there, the new people getting into it is find someone that you like, listen to them, hang out with them, hang out with their friends, network with as many people as you can and continue to be, build yourself, right? If you're not building yourself, if you're not, if you're not growing, you're dying. But we're going to get down to one, th the, the final thing that I want to talk about. And it's something that I struggle with every day. Balance. Ask myself at the end of the day sometimes, why am I, like, why am I doing this? Or, or if this all goes away, am I happy to be doing what I need to do? Or do I, how do I spend more time with my son? How do I, you know, I got this broken relationship I'm trying to fix right now. How do I get more, light, more time into here? How do I get more from my business? I feel like you have to be all in 100% of the time, all the time on all of them, okay? I find that like if I'm, all, if I'm too far into my work, my relationship would suffer or my son would suffer. And that makes me feel like I'm unethical inside of some area of my life. So I don't know that there's necessarily a balance act for me, but I know that if you go all in and you work a schedule and you make time and you lay time, and unfortunately that's what you gotta do for the next two years, three years to be able to get the life you want, live that thing to a T, Follow it completely, absolutely, every day, and I think the balance is going to show up. I think if you keep your front, if you keep your why, you keep it in front of you, stuff's eventually just going to happen for you. So I just wanted to jump on today, do a quick little video. I got to go do another video here in a little bit. Uh, you guys have a great Tuesday, Entrepreneur Lifestyle Group. Talk to you soon.